Hey, Rashina, how are you? Um, I've been better, day. Uh-oh, what's going on? I, I hate to use this term, but uh, I'm drowning. Um, I've been reading your, your books and your programs for the last couple months, you know, what I could get at the library and watching your videos online. Um, but everything's kind of come to a head, and I'm losing myself a, a bit, a lot, <laughs> and I'm not sure what to do. I'm considering bankruptcy at this point. Mm. Um I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go back to school. I just honestly don't know what to do right now. Mm. How old are you? I'm 28. Mm-hmm. And how much do you make a year? Um, at at best, I make around 19,000. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Um, right now, I'm a substitute teacher. Okay. Do so you have a teaching certificate? No. Um, I owe a debt that's actually preventing me from getting a certificate. So, I don't understand. I uh, owe oh, uh, a college. In order to do the teaching program in Texas, you have to have all your transcripts. But because I owe a school, um, they won't release it. Oh. And they won't let me go with the transcripts I have. I got you. And how much do you owe them? Um, I owe them around 1300 $1,300? $1, yes. Okay. How quickly would you land a job were you to uh, get your transcript, do you think? Um, pretty quickly, I've been subbing. I know this is going to sound so silly, but I've been subbing for about four years. Um, the thing is, the money's not constant. I'm not working during the summers. I don't work during um, mm -hmm. major holidays. So, Do you live on your own? Yes. Man, you're barely making it, aren't you, kiddo? I'm barely making it. Yeah. Um, I owe so much yeah. student loan debt. How much other, how much other student loan debt do you have, like, not counting this 1300 um, sixty-two thousand. Mm, yeah, that's overwhelming. Making nineteen, and what other kind of debt have you got? Um, I have consumer debt. Um, I've taken out. I know some stupid decisions. I've taken out um payday loans. Um, I have a car note that got repossessed last year. They want twelve thousand on it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I have a new car loan because uh, I couldn't pay cash. Um, so I'm paying that too. How much do you owe on that well, car? The one right now around five grand. Mm -hmm. How much is your payment? Um, it's two hundred a month. Okay, all right. Well, let's walk through this for a second, okay? If you were to file bankruptcy, uh, a Chapter Seven bankruptcy is the type of bankruptcy that cleans off all your debts. Okay. Student loan debt okay. is not bankruptable, so a bankruptcy would not clean off the sixty-two thousand. It might clean off the 1300 one. I don't know. That sounds like that's a private debt, and that one might be cleaned. Um, it would clean off your old repossession. It would clean off the payday loans. It would not clean up the $5,000 debt on the car unless you turn the car in. You don't, get to, turn, you don't okay. get to get rid of the debt and keep the car. You follow me? Yes, sir. So you either keep the debt and keep the car, or you turn the car in and can get rid of that debt, okay? Um, okay. If you want my opinion, I don't think you have a debt problem as much as you have a huge income problem. I definitely agree with that. If we, if we could increase your income ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a year, you still wouldn't be making a ton of money, but it would change your life right now. Because let me, let me kind of give you this number, okay? 1300 okay. changes your income because you get the transcripts back. 5000 gets rid of the car debt. How much is on these stupid payday loans? Um, well, I only took out 800 but as you know, the interest rate... Yeah, how much, is, how much do you loans. owe on the stupid payday loans? Um, 1700 now. Okay, so let's do this math. $8,000, 1700 there, 1300 at the college, 5000 on your car changes your whole life yes sir Does that makes sense yes eight thousand bucks and then you've got a student loan that you're going to have to work your way through but you got to work your way through that anyway you're not getting away from that one and you've got an old repo of twelve thousand dollars that you probably could settle for a couple grand so ten grand cleans up your entire life and makes it awesome, not counting the fact you got to fight through $62,000 worth of student loans. So, uh, you know, 
that tells me that you really don't have a bankruptcy problem. You've really got a, I mean, a debt problem. You got an income problem. So, right. you what? Do you, how much is your rent? Um, about six hundred. Okay. A month. Okay. And uh, so here's what I want you to have. You ever uh, waited tables or delivered pizzas? Um, a couple of years ago, I, I was a waitress when I was a, a teen. What I would tell you to do, if if I woke up in your shoes, knowing what I know, and see, I don't have all the emotions of being overwhelmed and scared. I'm just looking at the math, so I've got an advantage right now. Okay, yeah. you've got the emotions of being overwhelmed and scared. I'm just looking at the math, and that gives me an advantage. I'm outside the forest, so I can see all the trees. You following me? Yes, sir. So I get that you're overwhelmed and scared, but I can tell you how to fix it. I mean, if I were you. I'd start working about 80 hours a week, 90 hours a week. I'd be delivering pizzas and waiting tables and whatever else you can come up with to make money. Tutoring, I'd be tutoring my little butt off. And a, a lady was on here last hour making 30 bucks an hour in Charlotte tutoring as a teacher. And that's how she got out of debt. 30 bucks an hour would change your life, you know? Pick up three or yes, four sir. kids, pick up three or four places you can wait tables and pick up pick up a, a, odd jobs doing whatever. I don't know what you can do that's legal and moral, but I want you to go make an extra two or $3,000 a month. But you don't have no life. You can't breathe. You're so tired, your, your nostrils hurt. You follow me? You don't yes. have to worry about it, though. You won't die from hard work. Right before you die, you'll pass out. You'll be okay. You follow me? Yes, sir. You need to work your butt off your fingers to the bone and go make you ten thousand dollars in the next four months christmas i want you debt free except the student loans and the car repo you get your transcripts back you get the payday lenders out of your life don't you ever go in one of those places again they're killing you and okay. and, and get your car paid off and then you're gonna have a life you feel it Okay. You can do this. I'll walk with you. You call me back while you're working on it, and you and I will do this together. And you hold on. I'm going to put you through Financial Peace University, too. Get a community in your life where you can walk through this and get it done. You got this, kid. You can do it. 